So hello everyone and welcome to this interview. Today I'm talking to Karen about her experience inside the Instagram and Facebook business stories group. So before I go on, Karen, would you like to introduce yourself please? Um, yes, I'm Karen and I own Mini Views and um, basically I'm a craft tutor and demonstrator and I sell my handcrafted goods as well. So yeah, yeah, and I've been doing that now. Well, I've been crafting all my life and I've been running it as a business for um, getting on for seven, eight years now. So, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so can you give me a little overview of how you found the Instagram and Facebook stories course? Uh, really, really good from my point of view. It's not something um, I ever envisaged myself doing. But this year, with the change of um, COVID and everything and not being able to run my uh, in-person classes, I've really had to change um, and have a restructure of what I'm doing. So, yeah, I found it really, really informative and very easy to follow. Um, I've not finished the course yet, but I don't feel daunted by it because I know I can pick it up at any stage. And I also know that you're on hand to uh, offer support and I can ask you questions. So um, from that point of view, very easy, yeah. That's brilliant. And you mentioned obviously that you've had to change because you used to do the workshops, didn't you? And things like that. So, yes. Yeah. So yeah. that of course helped you to sort of pivot your business more online at the moment. Uh, well, even since starting the course, I've had another change of direction. <laughs> And I think it's sometimes a natural progression because when I started the course, I had um, uh, an idea of where I wanted to go. I wanted to build up my tutorials, um, paid tutorials on um, YouTube. Mm. But then as we've gone along and I've met people and I've been talking to friends doing the course, um, they've sort of encouraged me to start selling my products, which I used to do years ago at fairs and things, but I never thought I'd get back to it. But with what I've learned on the course, it's given me the confidence to actually go out there and start selling again. So I'm actually going in a completely different direction to when I started the course, which is quite bizarre, really. <laughs> um, yeah. So you changed direction and... Um, yeah. That that's something that sometimes does happen because what we did in the course is we went right back to like what your goals were and what you wanted to achieve in your social media marketing and what you wanted people to do when they saw your updates and things like that. So sometimes that can actually make you think, oh, I could do this and do that. And I know um, a couple of your friends are on the course as well. And that brings me to like the next question, like, you know, um, why did you um, decide that this course was for you and um, that I was probably the right person to work with? Um, well, obviously, Angela did the introduction for me. Um, she gets involved in quite a lot of things um, and she, she's always sending me links. And um, I thought, oh, yes, you know, I'll just take a look in your, I think, your general Facebook. Yeah. Um, and I looked at some of the things in there and I sort of, I started to get into it. And then I think quite quickly after that you announced the course and I was like oh, I'm not sure it, it just seemed quite a commitment for me and it's a long time since I've done any learning but um the three of us Selena as well we've we've been friends now for about three or four years and, and growing our businesses together um and I thought it would be quite fun doing yeah. it with them and you know having their support um but really just um, the way you approach things as well. I think um, we're all of a sort of certain age. Um, so you don't feel, in, I didn't feel intimidated. I think that's probably what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, and I think that knowing that they were, we could support one another. That's probably yeah. Um, quite yeah. important. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you're right because I think sometimes, because I'm, I'm obviously, um, you know, I, I work from home, I'm a mum, I've got a busy household as well. And sometimes I think people can get a bit detached from that and, and not understand what it's like to be in that situation. And I think mm -hmm. um, hopefully that's, you know, that's what comes across in my teaching is that when I explain things, it's more real life. It's, it's how we all understand it. Because like you, I didn't grow up with 
mobile phones or computers you know this is all sort of new technology to all of us in this age bracket and it can be quite daunting and um, overwhelming for some so you know fortunately I, I do get it a bit quicker so I've, I've managed to be able to share that with everybody which is great so have you got any like is there anything that you feel a lot more confident about that you've sort of like any fears about using Instagram and Facebook that you've overcome during the course? Uh, I think for me, I'm still, I still, I mean, I was steering away from Facebook, which I'm still doing, only from the point of view with what I'm doing. I mm. feel Instagram is much more dedicated to the handicrafts and things like that. I just feel the environment's a lot yeah. nicer on there. Um, but it's it's given me the confidence to promote myself, which I'm not very good at at all, or I wasn't, but. I think because of, as well, the way you break things down on the course into stages, that's made it easier. And I would never, ever have promoted myself in the way I am if I hadn't have done the course. And I, that is definitely something I know I wouldn't have done. Um, I'm just not that. What I just feel that it comes across sometimes when you see things and you see people promoting themselves, I just feel that if I had have done that before, I'd have felt that sounds really big headed or do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I just, there's no way I would have done it really. So that, that's that been probably the most important thing, I think. Yeah, because you've, 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 you've started to realise, you know, your own self-confidence and your own self-worth and, and how to put that across to other people so that they can learn from you. I think mm. that's really important because that's something that a lot of people, like you say, with Instagram, because it can be like a bit scary because oh everyone's just you know it's all polished and it's all this and it's all that you know and actually understanding your own self-worth and how to do it and having the confidence to put yourself out there in a way that feels good with you is a really good thing to um mm. to be you know that's a really good place to be because you're just going to grow and grow and grow from there which is yeah, great. Mm. yeah no, and no. also I have to say the ladies that come to my classes because they're always giving me fantastic feedback but that's obviously a fairly small minority but you know they're they're so pleased with what I'm doing now because they said they've said to me oh it's about time you know you should have done this a long time ago um, so they've got faith in me and they like what I do, but it's, it's just me. I know it's me. I've just never had the confidence to yeah. get myself out there, really. <clears throat> yeah, and that's brilliant that you're starting to get that confidence because that's, that's really awesome. And, and you've got lots of really great stuff to share. And that, mm. that pretty much takes me on to the next question about, you know, whether you've, you could, you've gained anything. So obviously you've gained confidence. What else would you say that you've gained from the course? Um, well, obviously, the knowledge how to do things, the stories and the posts. Um, I, I am still only about halfway through the course. Um, uh, the hashtags really interest me, but although I, I've only just dipped into it, um, I, I know that I will gain a lot when I can actually sit down and devote some some quality time to to learning that really so yeah. um, and just how to organize um like my social media my instagram and um um have it set up i think the thing for me is you i feel i could sell the best thing in the world but if you don't know how to promote yourself on somewhere like instagram then you're never going to have that reach and following mm. So that, that's been a massive thing for me. Um, yeah, you know, because um, I've always had good feedback about what I make, but I've just never known the way to promote myself other than doing sort of little craft markets and things like that. Yeah, no, that's brilliant. Because, like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's an amazing place to be. And I think when you know how to do the stuff, then you get the confidence to actually start putting it out there. And then, you know, you learn the strategy on here. We, you know, you learn how to like get them from your posts to your website and then, you know, from the website onwards and things like that, which is really, really great. Mm. Um, so that's really good. And like you say, you are only halfway through because you're taking it, you know, you're taking it at the, part, at the pace that you want to do it. And um, you have access to the course for a whole year. 
and you have me every week on a Thursday mm -hmm. where we have our live Q and A's where you can ask questions, and we have our community as well where you know we've got stuff going on in there. And at the moment, we're doing the accountability where I'm actually helping you with your posts and the topics for it and things, which is great. So if you were to come across somebody or somebody asked you, you know, is there a course that you would recommend? What would you say to them? Yes, I would obviously recommend your course. Um, I just, yeah, I just, um, I can't sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I'm doing an Angela now. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like the fault it. <clears throat> yeah, 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 I, you know, um, and I think particularly for, um, for women as well. I mean, I, I'm assuming you would, you, you know, men could you do your course as well but there's a lot of women yeah, there is, um, yeah doing sort of similar things and as i say similar age so <clears throat> that that really helps i think that sort of learning environment because obviously it's a long time since i've done anything like this and i never really thought i would do anything like it again but uh, yeah i would definitely encourage someone to to take the course yeah yeah i mean we you know Obviously, um, <clears throat> it is open to anyone. We do have a couple of men on the course at the moment, but you, you're right. The predominant group in there at the moment is women um, around, you know, 40 plus, I would say. Um, mm. And I think it's, it's really nice because what you're finding is that you're, you're empowering each other because you can see each other doing it. And it's like, I'm not too old to do this. I can do this. You know, the tech's not too difficult because it's being explained and I can take my mm. own time about it and I can do things at my own pace. And I think that's the great aspect of it. And that's what I wanted mm. to happen. Is that I wanted you to either work through it at the pace that I go or work through it at the pace you go. Because not everything is appropriate to use at this time, especially depending on your business. You know, like you say, you're creating little videos now, which is great. You know, mm. and then you're starting to experiment with reels and things like that. And all of those things can be done at your own pace when you think that fits into your goals, which is all. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Great. So um, just to finalise, um, would you be able to tell everybody how they can contact you and, you know, like, so where they can go to find out about your products and your little kits that you're creating and things like that? So, yeah, yeah. Um, I've got Linktree um, linked to my Instagram. So all my links are on there um, and obviously private message. And I have got my website, but um, I haven't really kept up to date with that since I've been doing Instagram. So the Linktree um with the instagram and um just started setting up the shopify as well so yeah. again that's something i'm doing in my own time but uh yeah uh linktree has got all my links on it so okay brilliant and what i'll do is i'll share karen's information in this video as well so you'll be able to go to her instagram account and facebook account and go from there to the website and get information like you say to private message you inside of instagram if you want any information and if you want information about the course, which is on sale now, um, I'll put the link above or below this uh, video, wherever it is that you're seeing it. And if you have any questions whatsoever as well, please pop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. OK, so thank you so much, Karen, for joining me today. And thank everyone for watching this video. And I will see you all soon. Bye for now.